Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. It is such a relief to see all this stuff in my base. Um, yeah, so uh, I today's my birthday, and I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do to celebrate my birthday? And um, I'm like, okay, well, maybe we can play some Minecraft. I haven't done that in a little while. Hey, Pee Wee, come on up. Um, so, so yeah, so that was like, okay, well, that that's clearly I'm going to do that. And I looked at all the backlog of recordings and episodes that I haven't edited and I'm like screw it I'm just gonna like go on the server Oops. and uh, go uh, sort of do an update and yeah so that's what we're gonna do but uh, I logged on to the, the and I was thinking oh, I'll just update it to 1.19 so I did a server backup and then I did a update on the test server and I went over there and this was all mess. Everything was missing. I had stuff everywhere. Let me show you a little clip. It's no good. Well, this is no good. So I um, I updated the test server to 1.19.1 and logged in. And initially I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to be killed by all these slimes? But these aren't slimes. These are player heads. I don't know what's going on. And then there's sand here. All my chests are gone. There's random holes in the ground. There's, there was a, there was a barrel sitting here. The bed's gone. That's no good. Um, yeah, this was what? A, this was, this was enchanting. Um, brewing. Wendell's still there. Look, the portal is uh, still there. We'll try that in a sec because I'm very curious about what's going on here. Um, my dragon room is like gone. All the artifacts are gone. So this is this was an upload of an archived world. This room, I don't know if I had that actually built out on when I did the update. Door's gone. So. Oof. Uh, so anyway, I don't know if that's a problem with 1.19.1, 1.19.1 spigot, or the way I did the update. I don't know. Um, hopefully we'll figure that out. I have some testing to do. I did do a current backup of the server, and then we will uh, we'll try the test again and uh, load that up to the, the test server and do a restore and try it out. So... Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't want this to be too crazy long, but we're gonna we're gonna gonna show you around. Uh, pardon the background noise I have a 3D printer I'm doing because I'm printing stuff right now, and I've got a cat on my lap. Hi, Pee Wee. Hi. Okay, so first off, this was I did not put this here. This was put here by someone else. I believe it's VexFX. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. I've got food for days. Apples, so I can make golden apples. Glowstone, don't have a ton of that. And these bottles of enchanting. That's really, really cool. Thank you. Uh, and of course, he put a flower on top. That's how I know it was Max. So, uh, base. Base changes. Uh, enchanting. Still enchanting. Um... Potions. I haven't really been doing a lot of potion brewing here because I'm set up somewhere else and I will show you that. Portal. With my uh, specialty stuff. I've got my nether hat on so I can go in there reasonably safely. Dragon room. So we killed the dragon. We did that on a live stream as part of the MS walk uh, fundraiser. And this was, this was the armor that I wore. It's the dragon head on one of the things. This is the uh, weapons and tools that I use. And here's the dragon egg. Uh, that's all secure. And then I've got a room here. No, I don't. I just have a door. That's fine. Um, and then up here, this is all the same, I believe. So we've got 
um, ice farm and uh, villager breeder. And, out, and it's raining. Yeah, and snowing. Yay. So this is all the same. So that's fine and dandy. I still have... I think I still have... I have a couple villagers sort of holed up in those little huts. But let's go back and... I have some... Let's go to the nether. I have some stuff to show you there. So my nether portals are still mislinked, but it's okay. It totally works. This goes back to the, the winter place. Uh, skeleton farm, which has not changed. And then I've got some stuff down that way. But we'll go over there in a little bit. Over here, village, not much change there. Um, Barb's caverns have not much change. Whole new hallway here. Well, hello, Mr. Piglins. Um, Vex's village, he's, you know, I haven't been over here. I haven't actually been to check out his villager situation. I don't know what updates he's done. I know he's been working on some stuff and doing some, uh, some zombification and curing. Let's see what that has resulted in. Where's the world not loaded over there? Okay. And then his place, I don't think there's been a lot of changes over there. So let's go up in here and see what we got. Uh, he's got emeralds for days. So same, same sort of, same sort of, uh, villager situation. The zombification, I don't know, helps other players. So that's not, uh, and he, he walled this off because he wanted to do uh, the zombification down there and prevent the zombies from coming up here because he had a little bit of a zombie outbreak and it zombified a bunch of villagers and that was like no good. So this looks largely the same. Uh, but there is something new to show you. So we did this on the live stream. So that goes to the stronghold and the end, which next live stream, I need to go. I need to, I need to get some elytra. I put it off way too long. I've been running around on foot like a silly fool and everyone else has wings and it's kind of dumb. But this here, I think this is new. So this. XFX found a spot out over ocean and built a mob farm. And it's big. So it's it's big and complex and there's spawning platforms up there and you see stuff falling down and we have all kinds of stuff now. I've got zombie flesh, um, bones, arrows, string, gunpowder, gunpowder for days, and a little bit of witch drops. Not a ton. Uh, it's not a particularly efficient as a witch farm. So the okay. Uh, so there's some overflow stuff there, but you know. That's fine. And I think back here is just, yeah, access to the sorter and all the rest. So it's a big long drop. Everything dies. Look at that. And he comes in waves. He's got a little clock up there. Water pushing all the mobs off. And you can, he's got platforms all over the place. And I think the ideal AFK spot is actually up there, which prevents all the stuff down here from spawning. Although there's not a lot of spawning opportunities there. But where we are right now, we probably are getting some caves down below. So you can go up a water stream here and uh, and uh, stand in the AFK spot. But pretty good resource for all the usual mob crops. Next. Okay, so I dug a big old tunnel down here. I found the next closest nether fortress. And I think think it is anyway um so let's uh 
Um, and this is where I found the nether wart. So we were we were really really strained for nether wart for quite a while. And uh, but I, I found some in this fortress here. Um, this is also a reasonable place to come out and hunt wither skeletons and stuff like that. Um, I put a I put a portal up here just to go up to the see what was out here on the surface and there's some cool stuff and there's some blazes. Um, so yeah, this is just a it's not a particularly large nether fortress, but it is another fortress and there is some stuff. And you see, look at that, the portal that I the 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 thing that I dug down put us right on top of another war room, which was kind of nice. And lots of little dead ends like this. So, and this isn't the only another wart room I found, but this is all we needed. We just needed one piece. So let's go back up and one last big area, big update to show. Oh, two more things to show you. Down here, there's another portal. I built a spider farm. Found a surface spider spawner and uh, built a farm around it. And it's super convenient way of getting loads of string and spider eyes and XP. So let's check that out. And candles here. Oh, that's right. I don't have my sword, but the Bane of Arthropod sword is really helpful here. And if we turn on it boxes. Eventually, these guys will start to spawn. Eventually. And I put down some candles here to give us just a little bit of light to prevent things from spawning right here. Oh, hello, guys. Um, but still bright enough to see what's going on. And if you squat, and just bam. Bam. Being of arthropod sword, the, the whole pack of them becomes a one-hit kill. But not uh, super useful with just sharp five um, and then you get all kinds of spider skulls um, so I'm gonna like turn off the hitboxes so this is this is a nice little alternative spawner and I have access to the surface here so we can pick up look around I got sand and bam bam uh, and then uh, sand and uh, clay, hardened clay, or hardened terracotta, or whatever they call it now. But this is where the spawner was, and I was going to decorate this up with uh, big spider eyes. I don't know why I didn't do that. But I put tinted glass around it so you can actually come up here and kind of see all the stuff spawning. Anyway, that's fun. One last bit. I've been spending, I've spent a lot of time out on the Mushroom Island building stuff. So let's go look at that. <sighs> so this is my big nether room for the Mushroom Island. And this is the original way I went in. And then this is where I have some farming stuff going on. And then over here, I've got some other stuff. Got a little villager breeder. So let's go check this out. So I've expanded out throughout the building. Huh. Uh, throughout the island. And I built more of my little structures here. So I went over there. Over that way, there's a village. And I kidnapped some villagers. Boats and stuff here. Look at the tropical fish. And I think I saw a villager or two down in here. There two. Uh, in case I need them, they're backup villagers. <clears throat> but I don't think I'll need them. And so the plan here was to build this. Hello, guys. I got... Look, there's a little baby down there. So I got a little villager breeder set up inside one of these little mushroom towers. It's kind of my design aesthetic. These guys are doing their thing. Hello. And uh, breeding little babies. And dropping them down below. 
And then the plan is to take the villagers out of here and build some sort of villager trading hall out over this side of the island. Yeah, that's the plan. I don't know where I'm going to do it. I don't know what, I don't know if I'm going to build mushroom structures for them to do it or what. But I'm going to sneak back into the nether because this island's kind of big. And I don't want to spend all my time walking over there. So let's go take a look. Ooh, hello, buddy. Okay, so this is, that was my original structure here. Um, kind of home base, and there's that portal. And then over here, I've got Mushroom Farms, which I think you've seen. Um, little weed field to feed the mushrooms. And a little mushroom uh, thing here where I can go through, feed the mushrooms, and push them off. There have been some lightning strikes, and I have mushrooms. I have brown mushrooms in here, so I can breed red and brown mushrooms. Uh, I tied up a mushroom over here somewhere in a boat and put a lightning rod near it, and the lightning came because it does thunder here and unfortunately killed the mushroom. But I did get some accidental lightning strikes and I've got mushrooms in there. So and then here, this is my, ooh, my farm area. So I've got all kinds of wheat going on in here. And what else do I have? Yeah, so I've got, this and then the structure over here oh there's another skeleton horse stuck in my building on my scaffolding so i i have a tied up skeleton horse here that i used to get around if i needed to run over there i would grab, hop on him and ride over uh, and then i Collecting llamas from the wandering traders that show up and uh, trying to find one with the with the maximum uh, <clears throat> maximum storage capacity. And this is my uh, brewing area. So I've got a nether wart farm. I've got brewing stands with like awkward potions already ready to go. And then I'm just collecting all these agents um, for making brewing potions. So I can brew up fire resist potions that I can just whatever I need. All the different things I need. Visibility, night vision, whatever. And then I'm just ditching some of these out here. Fire resist potions. Water breathing. Very helpful. Uh, healing potions, just in case. Um, and there's only so many potions that I actually need. Swiftness, that's very handy. Strength, regen, slow falling. Um... So yeah, this is like, this is my brewing thing. And I just love these views from out the window, looking at the other mushroom buildings. I think it's neat. I want to cover the whole surface of this island with these mushroom buildings and make them each sort of special purpose. So there we go. Um, yeah, and then I've got, I've been using this as kind of my main portal. Uh, one other last thing to show here, I think. Where is it? It's down here. Uh, so I dug a staircase down. And hopefully there's still water down here. Sploosh! Okay. I dug down to the bottom of the world. And started digging back up. And I haven't done anything with this. So I want to slowly go through and dig my way up. And I don't know what to do with this. This could become the villager trading area. I'm getting some resources doing this. But this is the staircase down. Which eventually I will turn into just a water, a water thing. Because I don't need this much blocks here. So at this point, I would go and dig up and put more scaffolding up there and dig up and dig another layer out. And when I get back up to close to the surface, 
then I will go and remove these floors and I'll just have a huge interior space that I can do whatever I want with. No idea what that is, but that is the uh, the basic idea. And uh, again, I'm just collecting all kinds of resources, deep slate and, oh, look at that, diamonds. So that's that. And I put stairs in here to make it a little easier to get out. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if this is going to be like, will I relocate villagers from the villager breeder over here and build my villager trading area down below? I don't know. Or do I build the villager breeder in a giant mushroom shaped building or in an area surrounded by mushroom shaped buildings? I don't know. I will need some additional things to make it really worthwhile. Like I will need farms uh, to be able to grow crops and stuff to trade with these guys and also tree farm in order to collect sticks to trade with the Fletchers. And then I want to grab a zombie from somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard. I just have to go off island, grab a zombie, hopefully get him to wear a hat so he doesn't burn up and bring him over here and make him so that he can come and eat my villagers and I can cure them and because I've got all the brewing stuff in here or over there uh get super cheap trades and then be able to sort of stock up so that's that um well so that that is really that I haven't been it's been a while since I've been on it's been a long time since I've posted anything and I think I just kind of got I've been busy with other stuff um, and I think I've been just kind of overwhelmed by life and, uh, I've been working at the magic castle. I've been helping with their live streams there and I've got one of those coming up on Sunday. They are live streams specifically for the magician members. Um, but then we, we do those and we also do some perks that are available for all members. And <clears throat> so that, that's been something that I've been doing and getting paid for, which is nice. Um, and then I've also been helping out with uh, Chihuahua Power G's work stuff. I need to do more of that probably tomorrow. It's my birthday. I don't feel like working. So I might go for a little walk later this afternoon. I might go to, I don't know. We will see. Um, but that's basically the situation with the server. Um, we have not a ton of progress. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Do I know what this is? Yeah, I did not build this. Let's uh let's figure out what this is. Whoa, it's an aquarium. Oh, somebody's been busy. Um, why are there dispensers up on the wall? Okay, little smelter action, resources. Oh, redstone access, it's down here. This is probably leads to a mining area. Oh, birds out and by a jungle. And there's a village over there. Is that a village that I have uh, been to? What time is it? I don't know. We'll find out. 
Oh, cats. Or ocelot. Hi. Wow, this is a... Uh, this is kind of cool. This looks like a barb thing. So let's... Um, I'm going to go over to that village. And... Whoa! Um, were those illagers trying to kill me there? Felt like it. Or just that skeleton. A couple skeletons. Weird. Okay, let's go uh, see what's over here. I don't know if I've been here before. Uh, village looks like some efforts have been taken to protect it. Birds. So if I want to tame a bird, I could do that. Ah, hello. Huh. Wow, a little desert village. This is kind of cool. Right next to a village, right next to a jungle. Um, this could be a little bit of a security risk here. I suppose. Drowns, there's some tropical fish down there. Oh, that's neat. The landscape. Some bread, wheat. Let's be polite. Let's close the door behind us. Some more wheat. Huh. Okay, so... I don't know that I've been in this village before. It's a hay bale. Well, very nice. Hello, kitties. I have cats. I can use birds. Um, you're slacking on your job here, Mr. Farmer. Cool. Well, I get out of here. Other than swimming. So we can go, uh, hello, birdies. Well, I know where to come if I want some birds. There's a nice little village bit here, uh, forest, the uh, jungle. And if I need jungle wood, um, I'll talk with Barb about this. Um, this might be from the standpoint of taming ocelots and parrots. We might want to burn down this forest. Which sounds ecologically irresponsible, but... Let's see if these skeletons have despawned. Yeah, they have. So, also must have that creeper that I heard. So this area is a little bit dangerous. Probably get some lights going on around here, but this is cool. Um, this is the kind of thing you miss when I haven't been on the server in a while. Is this all top sauce? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is so this will be safe. Nice. Well, cool. Okay, so. Make this fit the style book. There we go. And were these hallways dug properly? No, they were not. I will have to address that. Okay. That's fine. Um, cool. So, beach house. New place on the server. 
Okay. I need some wheat. Hi. Uh, some sugar cane, please. Oh, just over phone on the sugar cane. Take some sugar cane. No. Oh. There we go. I think I have everything I need. I'm going to take a little bit of red mushroom block, put it down here. Bloop. And then I'm going to craft myself a cake. Place it on top of the mushroom block. Oh, look at that. Now, can we put candles on top of the cake? <gasps> we can. Can we put different colored candles on top of the cake? No. Okay, so I got red candles. Oh, I'm eating it. Oh, shoot. Yum, 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 yum. But that's not what I was trying to do. Oh. Okay, right, so we'll, we'll place... We'll place some candles, different colors around the cake, I guess. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but you no, know, let's, oops. And, and then we will grab this and go clip, clip, clip. Light all the candles. There we go. All right. It's my birthday cake. Very nice. Okay. Well, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. This is Darren. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right? Bye.